Today we've got another live closing call for a $1,500 a month SMMA contract. For like I say, that's every single video. Used to run an SMMA, that's how I did all my remote sales to get into the industry. And this call is when I had no hair, I was living in Mexico, and I was closing realtors from my laptop on the beach. Well, not technically on the beach, in a little office right off the beach, but during the days after the calls, I'd be on the beach hanging out. So let's watch how I go through this call in under an hour. How you doing? Good, man. How are you? My lighting's horrible in this room, but anyway. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, it's all good, man. It's all good. Um, yeah, and I'm doing well, man. You know, just uh, trying to keep the girlfriend happy, trying to stay out of trouble, you know, the usual. Yeah, yeah. Well, um, best, best version of yourself usually works, right? Correct. That is correct, <laughs> man. So Building rapport. I'm a normal guy. I got a girlfriend. I'm keeping her happy. Fun fact is I actually didn't have a girlfriend when I uh, recorded this. That was just kind of like my go-to line that would make people make people laugh. So if you don't have a girlfriend, because I already know you guys are virgins, then you can whip out this line anyways. Yeah, man. But um, yeah, thanks for checking out that video. I mean, it looks like we just kind of booked this time on my calendar today about possibly expanding your video marketing efforts. And yeah. this this first call, Gons, is really just for me to find out more about you and your okay. background, just yeah. to see if, you know, we can really yeah, even help you in the first place. And um, I guess I was just curious, man, like when you saw the videos I sent you the other day and saw in that video, a couple of things that we do, yeah. like what was it about the, the videos that attracted your attention? So I'm going to rewind and go back, I think, to like even a year ago, I believe you sent me some marketing content. Right there, I'm framing the call. I'm saying the purpose of this call is for me to just find out more about you and if we can help you potentially expand your video marketing efforts. Now, just a point of critique here on my own, because this was a couple years ago, I think I seem too disinterested in the prospect. I'm kind of just like, you know, like, I guess the point of the call is like this. But like you want to hold more of a frame of like a leader who's like smiling and you're like, yeah, like I'm happy to talk to you Gons. Really, the point of this call is for me just to get a better idea of like who you are, what you like, you know, and ultimately to see if like I'm going to be able to help you out. Is that cool with you? Cool. Anyhow, I've always wanted to do stuff like that, like what I saw. Stuff um, like what? I like the, like the videos that you created, like I like them all. Like I like the the serious ones, the the fun ones. Yeah. So okay. and there is, there is one other agent up here that's been up here a lot longer than I have. That's okay. been dominating the the market. So it'd be it'd be great to freaking pull the rug out from underneath them. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I guess what are you currently doing right now to kind of I guess separate yourself from him and attract new business. Okay, great question. Great question. I'm diving into the problem. There's this guy over here who's got the market share of the business. What are you doing to get a piece of that pie? Unfortunately, the way I ask that, I'm more smiling. Like, what What are you doing to, to take the rug out from him? When I should be more like critical, be like, okay, so like this guy's got most of the market share and what are like, what are you doing to kind of challenge that? Like it's, I'm, I'm asking it like, like, how are you solving this problem right now? Yeah, um, nothing too strong. I'll be honest, like January, February, uh, traditionally have been in over the past six years have been my quieter months where I've kind of was able to get my plan organized and and move on. Uh, but I've been so busy over the last few months that I haven't had a chance to to do my my plan sort of like, you know, Instagram uh, posts, um, my plan Facebook posts, my mm -hmm. Just that kind of like strategic stuff I haven't had a yeah. chance to really put together, unfortunately, uh, just because I've had uh, an incredible two months, uh, three months. Problem one is lack of time to implement, which we can help with because we'll invest the time for him. And problem two is lack of marketing, enough marketing to be able to effectively compete. So I'll probe into one of those or both of them. Has that kind of been an issue for you for, for a while or is that you know, the, the lack of consistency with you posting. I mean, how long has that been going on? Oh, fuck. Forever, bud. Forever. I, I hired, I hired, uh, I hired some help last year. When I post personal stuff, 
Yeah. Uh, then I get a ton of like responses when I post real estate stuff. It's just kind of meh. But all my all my business has come through referrals. It really so, has. So if you're if you're getting kind of the biggest result from your personal stuff being in the community for 35 years, being a local at that SFU area, um, and it's it's been working for you. I mean, what's been stopping you from just consistently posting more personal stuff and being more out there as a figure in the community? Boom, that's a really good question, okay? If this thing that you're doing is getting you really good results, why not just keep doing it? And that's just me genuinely asking. I mean, I'm genuinely like, what's really the issue here? I mean, it sounds freaking obvious, just do more of that. And he's probably gonna give me an answer that's like, oh, it's time related, I don't have enough time for that, which I'm gonna make a note of as the sales rep and say like, okay, here's how I'm gonna save you time by creating a bunch of personal content for you, which has already been proven to produce more deals in your business running your own business uh, you know that you're you're everything and, and i've got a, you know there's a ton of balls in the air and some weeks are busier with clients than others and uh, you know you're doing your your finances you're trying to do your marketing you're trying to you know yeah. just juggling uh, sometimes some things just like in life take up more attention than others yeah. i get i get it man it's like the it's the day-to-day -day, um stuff that's kind of holding you back, but I mean, uh, of keeping consistent with posting this personal sure. engaging content that's going to be bringing in more business long term. I mean, um, I guess why we're talking here is because maybe you're looking to potentially change something up. So why, why is it so important for you, I guess, to change now though and start posting more personal stuff, personal marketing? Yeah, boom, that's another good question right there. It's an urgency question. It's like, basically saying, why are you going to make a decision to do something with me and change your business on this call with me instead of waving me off and waiting another six months or a year to invest into marketing solutions? I, I know it's the way to do it. I know it's the way to do it. And, and fun videos like that are, you know, I don't, I don't post like my real estate listings up on my mm. person uh, page of uh, Facebook. Um, it's not for me if that's not the right platform but if it was a fun video right like if it was a yeah then it'd be like hey guys like i normally don't post this stuff here but take a look at what we did and yeah it's a pride like that that's a killer video you know like um yeah pride yeah have you <laughs> tell me more about that man i mean have you have you felt uh, a sense of pride with what you're putting out in your marketing right now um no, I haven't. So if you're wondering why I probed into pride is because like pride is an emotion, right? There's a feeling associated with pride. And so sales is a combination of emotional based and logical based selling. And if you can get both to marry each other, then you're definitely going to get the clothes. So I'm trying to elicit a sense of like pride and ownership that he can have in his marketing if he really took the time to invest. But right now there is no pride. I haven't had the fortuitous opportunity to work with people that I don't know. Man, you're you're in a bucket with most with most agents who are uh, three to in that three to eight year range. Most people are just working on the referrals. Pause. Okay, just a little adjustment there. I said you're not you're in the bucket with most agents out there. I actually would have changed the language there and said, dude, you're in the same bucket as 80% of the realtors that join on with us. Like most people are only relying on referrals to generate business. And the reason that people come to us is because they're looking to generate business outside their network through something like video marketing. And that just kind of future paces him to let him know like, oh, like I am the type of person and client that these guys work with and my problems that I'm facing right now are like validated. 73% of homeowners go with the first agent that they interview. Um, 73%. And, and that, so that, that just means that if you wanna start working with people who don't know you, we just need to get your face and your personalized content out there that shows that you know, you've been a member of this community for 35 years, you're a local guy, you have a nice family, you're personable. We need to get you in their face in front of as many of those people as possible so you can start scheduling those interviews, mm -hmm. right? Okay, so let me pause right there. You can see Gons is nodding his head. He's agreeing with what I'm saying. And if you guys can add some kind of statistic like I did there that like educates your prospects specific to your industry, like that's great. That is amazing that they, they like, they feel like they're learning on this call. Now, the one thing I didn't do that I 100% should have done is after I went through that example, I should have tied down on what I 
on what I just said by asking him a question like, so do you see how just getting in front of more people and just really getting you that first interview is gonna be something that'd be beneficial to your business? And he'd be like, oh yeah, that'd be super beneficial. And then I could be like, and right now, do you feel like you're getting in front of and getting enough interviews that you'd like, that you'd like to be? And he's like, no, I'm not getting enough interviews that I'd like to be, right? So I needed to tie him down more on the process of like, dude, all we need to do is get you in front of more people, get you more interviews, because 73% of the time, they're just gonna choose you anyways. Like even if you're a schmuck, even if you suck at your job, they just choose the first realtor that they interview. But, but that competition guy that I was telling you about, when I took a client to one of his listings and my client's like, oh yeah, you're in my mailbox like every week. I was like, oh shit. <laughs> oh shit, okay, that's it. We gotta, we gotta step up our game here. And, and really that's what it was. Which, which mm. it was just that. What, what happened in that instant? Sorry, there so was I a take, client. So I take a client to an open house or, and yeah. that, that buddy had listed. Right. And when I take my clients in, you know, he says hello and he says, oh yeah, I know, I know you. I feel like I know you. You're in my mailbox every week. Right. And I was just like. Oh, right. Okay. <laughs> yeah. How did that make you feel? Oh, buddy, I was like, yeah, for sure, man. That was, uh, yeah, after that, that's why, that's what made me step up my game. Boom, okay, that's why I stepped up my game. So this is the urgency. This is like the why now. Why is he gonna buy from me today rather than next week? This dude just had, a, had an incident. He's afraid of homeboy down the block taking all his business. And if he doesn't take his marketing seriously now, he could be out of business in three years. If you're really looking to grow again, just like in the past two years, how you've grown in your marketing, you've grown in your transactions. We want to keep that momentum going so that in the next two years you're growing even further um, and you're beating out this other guy. What kind of uh, transactions in the year would you need to do to successfully beat him out and hit your goals for the year? What are you looking to do? So this is a desire question. I'm trying to specifically elicit like the numbers of where he'd like to take his life in the next year or two here, right? It financially qualifies him again. So if he says he's doing 18 deals a year right now and he wants to get to like 25 deals a year, right? Then that lets me know like, oh, okay. So like he's in the range of people that will buy this product or service at this price point. Cool, I'm gonna pitch him on that. I'll be, I'll be happy if, I, if it's, you know, up to 24. Uh, in a year, but just for uh, family balance, uh, mm -hmm. personal health, mm -hmm. um, you know, I don't want to, mm -hmm. I don't want to, I, I, this is like, this is what I do and I love it. However, I've got three young kids. They're my most important clients and they get my dinner times and uh, in my mornings. Mm -hmm. And that's, to me, that's the most important thing. Now, as I'm rewatching this, I'm realizing like the issue here with that answer is that his goals aren't big enough, okay? He's already happy doing what he's doing. So there's no gap into getting him where he wants to go. So I have to really reaffirm with him that like growth is important to him and that he's not satisfied with where his business is at right now. And that's what you've been wanting for a while here, man. I mean, how long have you been wanting to build more authority in this SFU area more than this other guy, yeah. this educational content, this other stuff. That goes without saying, yep, yeah. agreed. Right. And if we don't do anything about this now though, and we just kind of keep doing the same thing we've been doing in the business for the last six years, and we just allow it to continue for the next three, six or 12 years, with our competition getting more recognition in these open houses. I mean, have yeah. you thought about, have you thought about that? What happens if we just don't do anything? It just, the business just stays like this, right? There's, there's really yeah. no growth and it's all about the growth. Yeah. Some, some people are fine with that. I mean, are you willing to settle for stagnation? No, no, growth? no, 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 no. I want, I want, I want the world. I want the world. Yeah. Cause who's, whose choice is it? Well, it whether you settle or not. Yeah, it's my own choice, man. Right. So possibly time for a change. Yeah, I, I absolutely would love to do some some video content and um, to learn more about what that looks like from your guys's end. Yeah, man. I mean, so based based on what 
you've you've told me here in this conversation and you know how we're we're just feeling this um lack of pride and consistency with what we're doing and how that's making you feel a little frustrated i mean um you mind if i tell you a bit about how i think our team will be able to help you out build some recognition in the sfu area sure man then I go into my pitch, it's around five minutes, and I tell him what the plan looks like for 12 months, I tell him everything that's included, and I also let him know like how this is gonna save him time, and how this is not gonna be like the last time, and it won't fizzle out. Yeah, right, do you feel like, um, just that quick drawing that I showed you, do you feel like that's something that um, you can do that can see yourself, I guess, building more of that presence and that authority uh, with your marketing, and building more, I guess, consistency with what we're doing. Yeah, uh, yeah. You listen. As long as I get the listings, I'd love to make a video for every listing. And I know it costs more, but like you said, we could charge more, um, more for those. So there you go. That's a good response. You can hear it in his tonality. He is 100% bought in on what I'm offering him, which is every single listing he has. He's going to be paying us 1,500 bucks for. And if he has 22 listings a year, I'm telling him like. You know, give us all your business for that. Uh, if it's appropriate with you, could I just let you know the marketing investment that we're going to need to get this started? Yeah. So uh, our team has an initial setup fee uh, to get you started on our brand identity to really craft the videos so that they're fitted to Gonz's personality. That's yeah. nothing crazy. It's not like $10,000 or something. It's just a setup fee of $1,000. Okay. And then from there, we just get started on a standard uh, $1,500 per listing. And that's with photos and with video. Amazing. Okay. Yeah, that's, I'm done. Done. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, no brainer. So, so then how do I, yeah, how do we move forward? Like when, when I, when I get a listing and I'm like, okay, let's, let's rock and roll. Let's do this. Right. So this is what we're going to need to get uh, to get you started, man, and set up. Okay. Um, step one is just that initial uh, setup fee, that invoice. Yeah. I'm going to send that over to your email right now, Gons, okay. and just make sure that you've got it. Once that gets paid up, what we're going to do is get you set up in our onboarding funnel. Okay, perfect. Gons, with the best address, I attach this invoice fee to the 40. That Can you just right. uh, double check that email, make sure it landed in your inbox, okay? Yes, invoice 1280. Correct. I'll just open Perfect. that and make sure the address, the information looks correct. Gons, Aratia, spelling is correct. Yeah, that, that works. Beautiful. Awesome, man. Okay, I will okay. take care of that. Um, and, uh, go get myself some listings. I gotta go back to here and go get myself. Some <laughs> yes, exactly. Gons. <laughs> go, go to work, get yourself some listings, man. We're going to make some moves. Okay. Uh, it's going to be very exciting. And then boom, he goes ahead, fills in credit card details and he pays for the invoice that puts him on a subscription for $1,500 a month. And I think we worked with him for like eight months, something like that. Okay, so my camera died, but guys, if this call can show you anything, it's that you can have an absolutely terrible call and still close. It's more important the number of calls you take than the skill set that you have. Okay, so if you suck and you're closing at like 20% of your deals, man, if you're taking five calls a day, you're closing out on one deal every single day. And if you're just doing the sales for an agent, and if you're just doing the sales for an agency as a remote sales rep, you're making 10% of anything that you sold. So in this case, the deal was worth $12,000 to our agency. So that's 1200 bucks that I would have made as a remote sales rep, even with like a pretty bad call. And then if you multiply that by five calls a day, five days a week, that's 20K a month just doing the sales part for the agency. If you're interested in getting started as a remote sales rep, click below to request to join our community of remote sales reps that are earning anywhere between 5,000 a month all the way up to $30,000 a month. Thanks guys.